Hey guys, today I have my household haul for the month of May for y'all. This is pretty much all that I'm going to buy for the household for the month. Unless I need to run back like the middle of the month, end of the month to pick a few things up. But other than that, this is the bulk of it. I went by Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and then next week I'm going to Walmart and Sam's and I'll include it in this haul. So let's start with Dollar General and then we'll go to Dollar Tree. So this is all dollar items. This is everything from the Dollar General. I picked up three things of bleach. I got two in the lemon and then one in the fresh scent because they only had one fresh scent, which is why I got stuck with lemon. And then I picked up this Home Bright Original Eraser Sponge. I'm thinking this is like the Magic Erasers. I have some spots on the walls and stuff that I need to use this on. So I picked that up. It comes with two in there for a dollar. Then this Sani Flush Blue Tablet Toilet Bowl Cleaner. There's three in there. I like to put these in the back of my toilet. And every time you flush it, it just kind of gives it a nice clean smell. For the Dollar Tree, I picked up a hundred count of cotton balls. This scunchie, what do they call these? Hairband. Thought I had seen a different name for it, but I can't remember what they call these little things. But anyways, I like to do like braids and stuff like that sometimes. So I like to have these little elastics like this instead of using a huge ponytail holder. Um, they have the bigger packs where you get like 700, but it comes in that plastic packaging and I hate it because a lot of times they fall out. So I only get a hundred in this one, but it reseals. So when I run out of these, I can just pick up a pack of 700 and refill it. So that was my thought process on getting that zipper bag. Picked up a thing of dryer sheets. I still have some, so this should be all I'm going to need for the month. Suavitel, there's 20 in there. Picked up some personal care spray-on detangler. Really thick hair, so needed that to detangle sometimes. Then this Tylenol pain relief. You get 40 in there, and it is 500 milligrams. And we needed more Play-Doh. Uh, Mason got a hold of all of our Play-Doh and ripped the tops off, and they dried out. So I picked up a package of every color they had. I just got the Dollar Tree brand because, I mean, they work just as good. You get four in there for $1.25. This one come with a red, yellow, blue, purple. This one came with a white, yellow, light yellow, light blue, and like a light purple. Pink, yellow, orange, and green. So, they had three different color options. And then I picked up these photo books. I just got two of them. They were $1.25 each. For Mother's Day gift bags, I'm going to throw some photos in there as well. Then I picked up this Holy Bible. It was in like the Mother's Day section, but it looked very nice. But it looked kind of small, so I wanted to kind of look at it compared to my bigger one. If you know why this one is a lot smaller, please let me know in the comments down below because I am curious. Last three items, they had new books today, so I picked up three of them. The first one is Girl 11. Current, twisty, utterly irresistible, will keep readers glued to pages. A novel of suspense, and I'll let you read the back. Picked up this one. It's called Slingshot. True love has the worst aim. In case you want to read the back. Last one I picked up was Atomic Love. decided if I'm gonna go to Sam's this month or not just because I have a lot more going on this month than I typically would like tomorrow I'm going to the eye doctor I did some thrifting but that really didn't make a big issue in the budget we have Mother's Day coming up I've got my brother's birthday then I've got to go back to the oral surgeon later on in the month and then the day after that I have to go to Cooper's pre-K celebration, which is like an hour away. So, 
my budget is costing me a little bit more this month so I may go to Sam's and just get like one of the items that was on my list and get the rest at Walmart and Dollar General or I may just skip Sam's this month and when I have a slower month like next month I'll go in and stock up or I may just kind of do like I'm doing and wait till August after my surgery because July I'm pretty much going to be down and wait till I have a big chunk of savings and go into Sam's and do it like that. So I haven't 100% decided. I know I'm going to have to go to Sam's for some food items, but I'm definitely not going to be getting the whole bulk of all of our stuff there this month. It's just going to be too much on our budget. Um, so I think I'm going to get like maybe one item there and then one item here and there if that makes sense so that way when i go to sam's you know the household stuff maybe cost me 20 or 40 dollars every month instead of spending like 100 bucks for just household items in one sitting but also i know in my head that the items i have done the math breakdown on puppy pads detergent softener um dish soap and there was something else i can't remember Oh, trash bags are a lot cheaper. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I made it to Ollie's and then I went to Walmart for the household stuff, the rest of it. I'm going to have to go back and like fill in on some things. And I didn't get puppy pads today because I've been getting them at Dollar General. And I just didn't go to Dollar General today. I'm thinking about possibly picking them up at Sam's. Just that one thing this month. I don't know yet. Um, I might might not i might just stick with dollar general we'll see but i'm gonna definitely have to go back and get those but that's about it for the month i think if i have to do like a restock at the end of the month or mid month i'll let, i'll show you all the items i pick up but ollie's i came out at 26 dollars and some change my budget for household for today to do my shopping was a hundred dollars not including the stuff you've already seen in this video so I came in at a little under $60. So did really well. $26 and some change at Ollie's. Let's get on with it. This Gain Odor Defense Softener. Normally I use the beads, but it was $349. So I had to pick it up. Trash bags, 13 gallons. I've never tried these, but we're going to try them. It was $9.99 for 100 of them. I'm using like 40 a month. Um, like one to two a day. So... Even if I have to double bag these, it's still worth it because that's what I'm spending for 40 of them a month. And the rest is snacky stuff. I know this is a household haul, not food, because food's next, but I was at Ollie's. And typically, I don't buy my groceries at Ollie's, but I got a Keurig at Goodwill. So, um, I just picked up this little donut shop blend coffee to try out. I don't know if I'm going like, to like it, so I just got this one for $3.99. The Cliff Bars, they just had a big buggy at the front, and they were 50% off the orange sticker. So, they were originally $0.99. Cents. It made them $0.49, $0.48, cents, something like that. So, I got six of the iced oatmeal cookie that I like. And then, I got one of the blueberry muffin and one of the chocolate brownie, because I don't think I've had either of those flavors, and I wanted to try them. And 50% off is a really good deal for those Cliff Kid bars. I absolutely love them. I probably should have picked up more. But until I go grocery shopping, that'll be enough. Then I did pick up two of the Mr. Beast original chocolate bars. Last time I went to Ollie's, I picked these up really good. Like one little piece, two little pieces is enough for me. It's not too overly sweet. It's like a mix of milk and dark chocolate. Like I said, 79 cents. So I got two of those. And then I've never seen this one. This is Mr. Beast Crunch. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a crunch bar. And these were 79 cents as well. That's all for Ollie's. Walmart. Obviously, I'm going to have to go back to Walmart for groceries. I feel like I'm forgetting one or two things. I didn't bring my list with me. I completely forgot it at home. So I might have some household stuff in my grocery haul. I'll be watching for the grocery haul. Um... So, this was like $11 or $12. I spent a total of $31 and some change at Walmart. Um, great value. I've used this before in the pods, and it smells just like gain to me. 
Um, so I thought I would try it in the liquid. It's a lot cheaper. You get more loads. So I thought I'd try it out. I'm mixing it through an oven, a, oven, a pizza in the oven. I've been getting my dandruff shampoo at Dollar General for like $3. It's like half this size. This was $5 and some change for the Equate Dry Scalp Dandruff Shampoo and Conditioner. So, thought I'd pick it up and try it for 28.2 fluid ounces. It's like double what I'm getting at Dollar General. So, thought I'd try it out. I've never tried the Equate one. Gain. Needed some of that. This is my favorite. Y'all know the Honey Berry Hula scent. Needed wipes. I think we have like one pack left. So this was like $6 and some change for a three pack. And you get 100 per pack. So it's 300 total. The guinea pigs needed more wood chews. So I picked up another one of those. This is under uh, $2. And they are fruit flavored. And then I got them some Wild Harvest Trail Treats this month. It says for guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils, and adult rabbits. Treats with seeds, nuts, and berries, and this was under $3. So that is all for this household haul for the month of May. Whenever I restock, I'll do that in a separate video, but be watching out for my grocery haul and thrift hauls if they're not already up. Bye guys.